Hi. In this video, I want to customize the list of posts for my site. I'll use the carousel page from the demonstration site as an example. Here I can see different lists of posts with various layout examples. The content of each list uses a specific layout, so its headings, text, images, and other elements adapt to some layout templates. If I decide to change such a template or create a custom one, I would usually need to hire a programming specialist. However, the Impreza theme offers tools to complete this task without coding. I'll start by editing the page with Live Builder. There are two content elements to display the list of posts. The grid listing element displays posts via a table alike list, and the carousel element displays posts via the list with a horizontal scroll. In this case, there's a carousel element on the page, so I click it to open its settings and open the appearance tab to choose the template. There's a vast amount of pre designed templates presented in the grid layout dropdown. I'll click the Grid Layout Templates link to check the live examples of these templates on this page. I can see different examples of Grid Layout Templates broken down by the various post types. And if I find the template I'd like to use, I can return to my page and choose its name in the Appearance Settings, Grid Layout. And I see it's applied on the preview. But what if I'll want to create a completely custom layout? I'll click the Add Grid Layout link, and it redirects me to the Grid Layout Builder. There's a Templates button at the top right, allowing me to import one of the pre-designed templates and edit it, to simplify the process. I can easily add new elements and click the Edit icon to change the element settings if needed. I just imported the template that I used earlier on the page. I like it, but I want to add a few adjustments. First, I want to remove the text at the bottom. Second, I'd like the category badge to show above the heading. I'll return to the template builder to apply these changes and remove relevant elements. Next, I'll add the post taxonomy element to the wrapper to show the category. I'll choose the button layout and move the element above the heading. Next, I'll type in the name for my template and save the changes. If I go back to the page, I can choose my custom layout in the Grid Layout dropdown. The category badge looks too big. I'll return to the Layout Builder and edit the Post Taxonomy element. I'll specify a font size and line height in its design settings for the text. I'll save the changes again. And I'll also save changes and reload the preview for the page. This way, it looks much better. I can find a complete list of templates by returning to WordPress and clicking Impreza, Grid Layouts. I can also use these templates for technical WordPress pages, such as Archives. I'll go to Theme Options, Archives Layout. Next, I'll edit the page template that the archive use. There's a grid listing element in this template, where I can also specify the needed grid layout, the number of columns, and the gap between items. I'll save the changes and can now go to Posts. Open the Categories page and view the archive page of any category. I see my custom template correctly applied to this archive. Thanks for watching. In this video, I edited the list of posts using the grid layout templates. In the following video, I'll show how to style buttons and input fields on the site.